iPhone 15 versus iPhone 12 speed test. Let's begin with a boot up test in three, two, go and see which one can get there first. Now, Apple iPhone 15 does have the Apple A16 Bionic chip found in the iPhone 14. And over here we do have the Apple A14 Bionic chip. So we're a couple of gen newer here on the iPhone 15, boots up faster than the iPhone 12, but not by a lot. So this video is gonna be a good speed test to see, you know, how much of an upgrade you are gonna be getting in your daily usage and performance from your iPhone 12. If your battery shot, you're ready to do an upgrade, or you're just ready to upgrade in general to the Apple iPhone 15. I got the green color. Let me know which color you like the most down below in the comment section. Okay, so when it comes to Face ID, the thing is, is that Face ID is now right up there in Dynamic Island for the iPhone 15. Over here for the iPhone 12, you'll see it is housed inside of the notch. You can't really see it too much, but in terms of the actual usage of these, no major difference whatsoever. So that's about the same speed. Now, when coming closer in and we take a look at just the general scrolling speed of both these phones, there's not really a difference here either. So the iPhone 12 was a pretty good purchase um, back then if you were looking for a longer term performer. You'll see right here, Apple A14 Bionic. Let's see how much it jumps in the clock speed. So for the iPhone 15 goes up to 3.44 gigahertz. That's up from 2.99, but we have four gigs of RAM here. A nice up update to the six gigabyte of RAM option here for the iPhone 15. Okay, so here we are at the app test. Everything is closed out for both. Let's go into calendar and you can see about the same. Let's go into clock and no differences here whatsoever. Let's go into calculator, same weather, exactly the same. Wow. So 17 has definitely been a, it's been working pretty good on the older iPhones. You can see a hair quicker there on the left. Let's go into games and you can see faster on the left apps. You can see faster on the left. So now we're getting a little bit. So, so far now the iPhone 15 is starting to show it's a little quicker. Let's go on Instagram. Will that up, add up throughout the day? Probably not too much, but it's something. Let's go over to my profile page. I'll take a look at the recent iPhone 15 Pro content. And you could see no real issues here. So that about it there, we'll go into X. X faster on the left. So it's looking like we're getting about maybe a second, a, milli a few milliseconds to a second. By the way, Rockstar just finally announced GTA 6. That's trending in a different market. We don't really cover games here, but hey, I'm excited about that. Let me know if you're excited about GTA 6 down below in the comments. Let's go into eBay. I, I'm not really a gamer, to be honest with you, bro, but like, honestly, the only game I did play when I played games was GTA 6 or 5. So I've been waiting forever because the cars honestly got outdated in GTA. You know, they got outdated. So. See right here, Groupon looked faster on the left. We'll go over here into Best Buy. And you could see faster here for the left and then the right. Let's go into products. So, so far it's looking like I could use both these phones and not experience any difference on the day to day in this performance so far. This is great for iPhone 12 users, but honestly, you're gonna wanna use the iPhone 12, you know, you're gonna to wanna to do the upgrade to the iPhone 15 for an iPhone 12 if you want camera updates, you want dynamic island, your battery is trashed. Those are the real changes. Um, the performance is better too, especially here now that we're getting into gaming. Um, another thing is that the iPhone 12 under heavy use definitely gets much hotter. So it's looking like the iPhone 15 much better here in Subway Surfers. So in the game department, this is a big jump too, Temple Run 2. And I do think, you know, like if you were to use the iPhone 12 for like another two years, that phone would start to feel a little bit slower. Got an error here, but faster on the left. However, the iPhone 12 with 5G performance, with its performance right now, A14 Bionic, it's definitely not slowing anybody down, I would say. Um,
the left. So when we start getting into games, it's pretty apparent that the other one is quicker. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't set this up properly. Hold on, let me cut this scene. We'll, we'll reload PUBG. So we're in now. I still have a feeling though that the iPhone 15 is gonna load PUBG faster. Let's just do it again just to be certain. But like I was saying, you know, if you're gonna be doing the gaming, you probably you probably wanna do the upgrade. Um, you do. You could go to a 14 Pro Max though. If you want a big screen, they have the same A16 Bionic chip. But if you like your size, you like your smaller size, you're still gonna get that upgrade on the iPhone 15. So you can see, even with this second load, it's still much faster on the 15. Go into the lobby here. Just We were just waiting all day there on the iPhone 12. Let's go into Geekbench 6. And that's faster on the right because Geekbench still doesn't load as fast yet. These newer phones, you can see faster on the left. That app is just not optimized. We're going to ca camera. That's also faster. We we're on the front facer. We'll do that again. That was also faster on the iPhone 15 though. Yeah, camera's even faster. So you're going to get that shot off quicker. Let's go into iMovie. And you could see not a great deal of difference there. So overall, you know, in the app test, the iPhone 15 with the win, but the iPhone 15 um, really started to shine in the gaming department. So again, if you're looking for upgrade and gaming performance, this is the year for that for sure. All right, so I'm gonna hop back through these apps as fast as I can without, you know, messing up. So you can see right there, Temple Run and Subway Surfers, Dead Trigger, YouTube. So even with the 60 Hertz, this thing is buttery smooth. Just look at this thing go. Blazing fast, buttery smooth, lightweight. This is a great phone, even if you um, don't think it's that fun to use. It's a great phone. Let's go over here to the iPhone 12. Surprisingly, iPhone 12, not too hot here. Let's see if we can get some reloads on the iPhone 12. So far doing just about, oh, there we go. Dead Trigger 2, YouTube. So we got one, Best Buy kind of slack in there. Oh, little jump, little jump action. Not a great deal of difference though. Okay, Instagram, App Store reload. So there's some reloads, four gigs of RAM. We'll go over here to weather. So yeah, you can just see when you start hopping back through the apps, it gets a little slower. So when you're doing stuff like this and you're going throughout your day, certain things, you might have to wait a second for it to repop open, but it's, it's not gonna be that noticeable. You'll just feel a little more swiftness when you come over to the iPhone 15. It'll feel just a little snappier day to day. And that, that could that could mean something for you in performance if you care about that kind of stuff. So we're about four and a half minutes in and we're still working on Geekbench. And you could see that the iPhone 15 is definitely in the lead. It's getting closer to finish. So it definitely will finish first, indicating faster performance um, than the iPhone 12 for sure. Okay, so here's your final results. And you can see, closer look at those scores is showing us that we're not too far ahead out in front on the single core and a pretty good margin though on that multi-core. Now let's take a look at that single core here and see how we do compared to, lead to other devices. You could see that this is performing only a hair better than the 14 Pro model, so not really too much different there. You could see this is quite a bit below the 14 Pro Pro, the 13 Pro, not too far behind the 13 models though. Um, and not too far behind the Apple, you know, A14 or A15 by an A iPhone 14 model either. So this is a pretty decent option still of, a, of an iPhone here. According to the benchmarks, it still performs very solid. So iPhone 12, man, that was a good, that was a good buy if you bought that during the pandemic. Um, the phone still runs very well. Let's go into wildlife extreme and we'll see where the iphone 15 really shines which is in the graphics department we'll show the final results in just a second i'll be back okay so the final results are in and not too bad for the iphone 15 although man this phone is hot we're really pushing it there you can see 28 78 on the overall score with 17.2 fps when it comes to the frame rate but five or six frame rate less on the iPhone 12 means a potentially more stuttering gaming experience. Although most mobile games are gonna perform great on both phones. 
2057 is quite a bit lower. Now the iPhone 12 scores better than 47% of devices, whereas the iPhone 15 scores better than 70%. So while the iPhone 15 is a very fast phone, it is not even close to the fastest on the market, but it's pretty darn quick nonetheless. So we can go ahead and do one more thing. Let's go ahead and open up the cameras and just kind of see how these perform in the day to day. Let me go ahead and make sure they're closed out from the initial speed test. I always like to check the cameras just because, you know, we take a lot of photos, don't we? Three, two, and go. They're on different cameras. Let's do this again. Three, two, go. Not too different. One more time, three, two, go. And you could see that the iPhone 12 tops out at five times, whereas you can now crop in 2X and 10 times. So that's a major upgrade for the iPhone 15. What about the shutter speed? Not a big deal of difference there. Overall, very good on both products. So if you guys found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click the like button for me. Which, are you ready to upgrade your iPhone 12 or are you actually gonna buy a secondhand iPhone 12 now? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here, be sure to be well and peace.